The Sturm Ruger Blackhawk single action revolver. This is the new model Blackhawk made in the 45 Long Colt caliber and just a real pleasure to shoot. The Colt single action army had been around for a long time and really had made the West what it was, a very legendary pistol. But they dropped it in about around the 1950s and so Ruger came around and picked up the uh, single action market. Started out with the single six and then went on into 357, 44 Magnum and the 45 Long Colt. And so these pistols really had a lot of popularity and plus they were cheaper than the Colts at the time. Now, 1955 through 1962, Ruger had introduced this, uh, the, they called it the flat top. And what had happened was, it did have adjustable sights, but it was flat here, and it was pretty much unprotected. But it really made a jump over the Colt, because the Colt had fixed sights. So this was one of the appeals of Ruger's pistol. And then in 1962 to 1972, there was the three screw, which you'd see right here in the receiver. This is two screw. This is the new model. Now I'll tell you a couple of things. The flat top and the three screw are highly desirable. But one, but one of the things about those two models is this is before they had the transfer bar. And this is the new model. The new model has the transfer bar. Now for one thing this gun is unloaded and we're just going to safety check it because you always do. You can always look through here and see the, the rounds but just always visually safety check. You could not carry six rounds safely in a single action revolver because if you dropped it and it hit the hammer the gun could go off and ignite the uh, the cartridge hit the primer so with this they have made this transfer bar to keep that from happening and so it protects and you can carry six rounds safely this way if you do have a three screw or a flat top you can send it back to Ruger and there was a program I, I'm sure that it's still in effect where you could have the transfer bar retrofitted to make it a much safer gun now if you're collecting these guns then you probably want to leave it as is. But if you have one and you like to shoot it, then I would definitely recommend that you have the transfer bar put in because I'm telling you, you could drop this inadvertently back and it could go off and you could be shot or hurt someone uh, that's around you. The 45 Long Colt had been a standing issue caliber in the military even during the Indian Wars. But it was replaced by the M1892, which was in 38 Long Colt. But those rounds were not effective against especially Moro warriors in the Philippines. And so for a time being, the Army reverted back to the old single action 45 Long Colts. Now, the 1911 caliber, the 45 ACP, was designed around the 45 Long Colt. And that's, this is the father of the 45 ACP caliber. It was incredibly effective against cl in close quarter combat and really proved itself, the 45 ACP, during World War I in trench warfare. Now this is the 45 Long Colt. And as you can see the barrel, of course my head is not behind this camera, but as you can see down the barrel, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty large caliber. Again, it's... Uh, the ballistics are very similar to the 45 ACP and it really shoots that way. You can get a convertible model that shoots with a different cylinder that shoots the 45 ACP and the 45 Long Colt through the same frame and the same barrel. They do make this also in the 30 caliber, uh, like a 30 caliber carbine. They make it in the 357, 41 Magnum, 45 Long Colt as I've mentioned, 44 Magnum. So there's a lot of great choices and a lot of those do have convertibles with them. Most of those are not being made at this time, but you can find them on the used market. Has nice wood, hardwood grips with the Ruger logo. I think some of the new models now are using the rubber grips. One of the things though that I will say about using these wood grips, especially with uh, even with 44 Magnum, is that when this thing shoots, it's better to kind of let it ride a little bit. If you're using rubber grips, that can really wear on your hand. Yeah, it takes away some of the shock, but the way this grip is made, it's made to ride a little bit in your hand. And that makes it even just a pleasure to shoot.
here we go this was a six and then I shot two so I had a little flyer there not a bad group about 20 yards yes baby Matt Dillon now as far as availability of the 45 long Colt here's some Winchesters uh, 255 grain lead round nose and I bought these at Walmart they were $17.95 a box I believe but just great for shooting especially in these old wheel guns and uh, just the old lead round nose and this is what they shot back in the old west so not bad and they are available and that's really a, a key thing for me is having a ammunition that's available now to load the pistol there's a little loading gate right here and you can just load uh, the shells directly in. Th this is one of the things that was an advantage or an improvement over the old Colt uh, Army 45s. And that you had to put it into half cock to load it with the Colts. But here, you drop around in and then just turn it. There's a positive click. One thing you don't want to do, you don't want to go too far because if you do, you have to go all the way back around once it gets to a certain point. Just load the six rounds in. I love these, man. Those bullets, man. They're just massive. There we go. Six in, close, and then that locks the cylinder in. One of the other advantages with the, the new model Blackhawk is that you can open the loading gate and you can load this without pulling the, the pistol into half cock. And so you can just turn the cylinder freely and then when you close the gate, it locks. In the old Colts and in the older Blackhawk models, you'd have to half cock the load. And you can see right away that that is not a great uh, proposition. <laughs> Gun smoke! This Black Hawk is in the four and five eighths inch. It does come in a seven and a half inch, and then there is a five and a half inch in intermediate uh, barrel length. This one weighs about 36 ounces, and the seven and a half inch weighs about 48 ounces. It's good and hefty, and even with the uh, Super Black Hawks, which are a little heavier framed, uh, it, these are really nice to shoot. A lot of the grip here, the angle of the grip, makes this a nice gun. Now, there is the Vaquero, which is a new. Ruger model for the single action and then there's the Beasley model which the grip angle is a little bit different and it's just a little bit different styling but Ruger really makes great single action pistols now Ruger originally introduced the Ruger single six in 1953 it wasn't until 1955 that they introduced the full center fire uh, caliber for the Black Hawk and you can see the differences here it has the same look but it's just like it's on steroids <laughs> This is the little bit longer barrel version of the Ruger Single Six. This new model Blackhawk in 45 Long Colt is a joy to shoot. In fact, I wish I'd have had a couple of more boxes of ammo to go through it uh, since I'm out here. But um, I'm telling you, this is just a lot of fun. It rides well in your hand. It's just a big old beast, but the recoil is a pleasure to shoot. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. You know the popularity of these Rungel, these the Ruger new model Blackhawk in 45 long Colt. This pistol has been around since the 1950s. Well, if I keep this up and get me a cowboy hat and some cowboy boots, and I'm gonna be ready to roll. Yeah, man.